I'm talking with Stefano Cantarelli of Huawei. Stefano, you've just given a presentation here at NextGen 12 about the broadband challenge. What are the major challenges as you see them? Yeah, good morning. Um, well, it, you know, the interesting part of that, that everybody talks uh, about what the challenges are, and I think everybody's trying to find uh, solutions uh, to this problem. I think the real challenge is in the fact that it's not just one solution, as it happens in most of these cases in technology, but it's a set of solutions that actually will help it to achieve the services that we're actually aiming at. Also, I've heard a lot about uh, investments in technology and so on. And as you know, you've seen here, they have mentioned about the fact that technology keep on improving in, of a fold of uh, 10, 20, uh, because that's a, that's a kind of uh, you know, um, a trend in the technology space. But there's another challenge that I think some people forget is that technology needs to be deployed. And so the service is also another important component in the challenge of, the, of deploying uh, uh, broadband, because it's about not just having the technology available, but having the ability to deploy to te those technologies. Yeah? Yes, and of course, a lot of the companies here that are looking like local authorities, people like that, telecommunications isn't really their bread and butter. They, they want a partner, not just a supplier. Yeah, yeah, you're very right. I think uh, um, UK has been one of the places where virtual operators or or um, you know um, uh, people who have been providing certain type of services, they're trying to diversify and extend the services in telecom. And in those specific cases, is for them there is no. Um, you know, legacy expertise in, in uh, telecoms uh, systems, and as such, you know, uh, companies like Huawei, who are uh, by you know by default the technology um, developers and researchers and so on, they are also here to serve them as services, and as such, they uh, are an ideal base for as a partner in order to be able to deploy those uh, uh, services and meet the challenge that we've been just talking about. Yes, I mean, Huawei has come to become, uh, you know, the watchword for telecommunications, shall we say. And, and this is the first time you've been involved in sponsoring NextGen. Have you been impressed with, with the people that are here? Yeah, actually, uh, I was very impressed by the uh, level of conversations that we are having here and the, and the, the actual uh, commitment that people have in trying to develop uh, um, services for the end user. I think uh, that uh, this is uh, tremendously important. I mean, Huawei has uh, um, declared already and has already done a lot of investment in the UK, which is one of the forefront uh, market in this basis as so services. And, uh, and I was delighted to hear that people do not forget that at the end of the whole technology that we deliver, there is a user that actually needs to lose and enjoy services. Well, absolutely. And uh, hopefully you'll be hoping that a lot of these users in the UK will be on the end of some Huawei equipment. Well, I will be one of those. So, yes, thank you very much. Okay, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you very much.